Hey, what's up everybody? Okay, so have you ever had that problem where you turn on the air conditioner in your camper and the water just comes pouring out of the top? I mean like last time me and Samantha went camping, I had to literally put a pot, like one of those big cook pots underneath the air conditioner as it dripped. See, we got in one of those Jayco 1007 pop-up campers. It's just like a 2007 model and we've never had this problem. All of a sudden, as soon as we turn on the air conditioner, condensation is just dripping down. So in this video, I want to talk to you about how I fixed that and what really was wrong with it. You'd be surprised. So here we go. I got Jack. Oh, oh, Jack's got one on the tree truck. So the other day, I tried really hard to find a solution for this problem. I looked all over YouTube and I really didn't see a good video on it. So I figured I would do the YouTube Facebook community a service and fix that and make a video on it. Also, check out how me and Samantha's patio came out. Pretty pumped about this, look. Wait for it. Boom, look at that, isn't that awesome? It's almost ready for football season. Got the hot tub on the way. I have to give you an update on the last hot tub. It died, but uh, I'll tell you why. It's really not their fault. I think it was more my fault, but back to the camper. All right, so here's my pop-up right here. It's just the J-Series. It's, it's an old J-Series, and this here is the culprit. This is the one that was leaking. So it's just like the old unit. Had to pop these off and get to work. All right, so once I got all my tools out, it was pretty hot. Don't make fun of my hat. But here's what happened. All right guys, so we've been trying to use our air conditioner in the pop-up and every time I turn it on after a few minutes, it just starts leaking through the ceiling. So the air conditioner, like water tray is clogged, clogged by like wasps and the filter deteriorating and old age. So I'm trying to figure out how to get it to drain again. I think I figured it out. So the real trick is to look through the owner's manual of your camper and kind of figure out like what part is the condenser, what part is you know, the fan and all that stuff. So you gotta take all these bolts out right here. Here, there, there, there. So I'm sitting right here. And you gotta pull this apart. They just clip together right there. And then you gotta take the actual metal uh, box apart from where the condenser and everything, the airplane brake. This is the third one that's came by while I was talking. It's a helicopter. So the big thing is you gotta take that metal piece off, the part that goes over the condenser where the water actually, you know, is collected. And underneath that is the little plastic pan that holds the water. And there's two little pinholes in each side of it. Those actually go down through the metal piece and they drip down the sides of your camper and it just drains off. And if those get clogged up, it's a no-go at that station. It will literally just back up and go right into your into your camper. It it's a real problem. So check it out. See the tray? It has a little bitty drain hole underneath it that like allows the water to come out. It allows the water to come out through here and just kind of drain down wherever it's got to go. In my case, I had like four dirt daubers and three wasps and like some just fabric from the filter that just built up over the years and dust clogged it up. All right, here's the tray. Can you see it? See the holes? That one's, that one is unclogged. That one's unclogged. Kinda. Can you see me through the hole? Can you see me? I can see you. what the bottom looks like it's got these uh, protruding bottoms of where the water goes through but honestly once you've taken that all apart and you you, you, you clean that little piece out it really isn't hard once you've tried it just stick it back together put the screws back in the way you took them out make sure you like put them together but they all kind of look the same and you're ready to go it was pretty simple don't let the people at the RV center make you feel like you can't do it because you can totally do it. 
it wasn't that hard. All right guys, so I hope you liked that video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Share this with your friends. Comment down below if you've had this problem. I hope this fixes it for the YouTube community because I had to learn the hard way. I had to search everywhere for this information. And before this helicopter number five gets here, have a good day. I'll see you next time, guys. Look, look, this is what I'm dealing with right here. Look, I don't know if you can see him. He's right there.